Welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So as promised, these are now your second date questions. So stay tuned for that. All right, so welcome back, family. Your second date questions are just as important as your first date questions because I gave you the formula before, but if this is your first time coming to the channel, let me go ahead and give you the formula again. The formula is to get your deal breaker questions out of the way so you know if you and the person are aligning up with one another as well as adding in some fun fluffy questions as i like to call them in order to not make the date seem so serious now again you can ask the fun questions first or you can ask the serious questions first it's not that important the important thing is that you are gathering the information that you need in order to see if you and this person are starting to align up with one another all right so um again go with the mood if the mood is fun go with the fluffy questions if the mood is kind of serious because that's how you are or if the person that you're out on a date with is kind of serious then just go with the serious questions but make sure that you add in the fluffy so you can see if this person has an actual personality because you know you because you do not want to get stuck with the the, the the stick in the mud basically all right so now let's jump into the five questions that you should be asking on your second date for today, I will be starting with the serious questions, but again, go with the mood. So the very first question is, what is your most important short-term goal? And that is from now until a year out. And what are you doing in order to pursue that specific, specific goal? Sorry. <laughs> All right, so that's your very first question. The next question is, again, a serious question, and it is, what is your most important long-term goal, which is like five years out or at least the second year on out? So that's your second question. The third question is actually, um, it's more of a serious question, but it, be kind, it, can, it can kind of be both ways, which is, where would you like to live if money was not a problem? Where would you like to live if money was not a problem? Now, you could talk about, anything on this particular question um but again it can be fun it can be serious this question is somewhere in the middle which is why i threw it in there the last two are the fluffy questions go ahead make sure that you ask these or something like this i'm just giving you the things that i would ask right but you can ask whatever you want just make sure that they are the fluffy questions because you don't want the date to be super serious or heavy right because you're gathering information right now you're not a couple at this point so just gather information, but still have fun, right? Okay, so now move on to question number four and five. Number four question I actually like because it's just something fun, which is what is your high school nickname or your family nickname? So what is the name that they used to call you in high school? Why did they used to call you that? Or where did you get it from? And do they still call you this thing till this day? Like my family nickname or high school nickname is one of the same. I will not mention it here, but I will say that people still call me by that nickname when I go back home. <laughs> people don't use my real name. Like nobody's calling me Sean, <laughs> right? Everybody is calling me by that nickname. And it also lets me know where I knew you from and or when I met you. So if I met you in my childhood, you're still calling me my childhood nickname. If I met you as an adult, you are calling me Sean. So anyway... The last question, <clears throat> I need to get some water, so let me wrap this up. The last question is kind of kind of quirky, but it also could be something that is a an, an um that can lead into a deeper conversation if you wanted to. And the question is, what is your favorite smell? Now I like this question because this question can go anywhere. <laughs> And also, you can still learn something about your particular date. So I hope that these I hope that these questions did help you out. I hope that you are enjoying your dates and just getting to know one another. And also, you don't want it to be where you are just going out there and just kind of going with the flow all the time. Not for the first couple of dates. You should not just be going with the flow because you waste a lot of time by just going with the flow. The people that are in the relationships actually had an agenda and now they're in the relationship with um, a particular person that met certain criteria for them. So they're not just in a relationship with anybody. I mean, some people are, but the majority of people that's taking the time, asking the questions, basically doing the research watching the behavior, et cetera, et cetera, are the ones that are in the best relationships or at least the healthiest relationships. There's always going to be ups and downs. You're always going to get mad at your spouse. They're always going to do something that is going to irritate the heck out of you, but that is okay. So now I want to move on. I wanted to end this, but I do want to give you some bonus questions that you should ask 
but not on the second date. Definitely not on the first date. Um, these two questions, I actually, I really did um, take them from Steve Harvey's uh, book, which is uh, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man, because I think that they are important, but I do not think that you should be asking them on the first or second date or anywhere in the very beginning. I would say stick with these questions at least four to six months out, and this is after you have received the title. So now, the two bonus questions that you should be asking is, what is it that you think about me? Like, what do you think about me? And then the second question is, how do you feel about me? Now, men are going to give you, I mean, I, I'm going with men right now, but men, you can ask this question too. Women, we are just more detail oriented when we give our answers. So for the women who ask these questions to the men, you need to make sure that he's not just telling, oh, you good. Are you cool? Like you want him to go deeper on why you cool. You want him to go deeper on why you good. Like, you don't want him to just be able to get away, if I can say it that way. Get away with just telling you, oh, that you good people. You want him to dig deeper so you can actually hear what he thinks about you. Because you could think that you the coolest chick out there, right? You doing everything that you need to do right. You think that you super pleasing him. And then he come, come back and bust you in the head <laughs> with some information that you had no idea that he was picking up on. So this is a chance for you to either um, correct said behavior or explain why this, this, and this is going this particular way and why he might see you that way. So this is another way for you guys to continue to grow together and, and to continue to know one another. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. If this is your very first time here, make sure that you hit that red subscribe button down below. If you liked my questions and um, just my delivery and everything about this video, make sure that you give me a thumbs up. The very last thing is to share it on social media, and I will see you guys in the next video. Two finger salute.